Hello, I set aside this morning to film videos and um, it's just been completely nightmarish. Um, if you can hear the noises, Jim is on the table here. There is a total mess behind me. They're doing building works opposite, which they've just started doing today when I was uh, going to film, so it's really noisy. So anyway, um, I thought I would do a video of makeup that I'm currently doing. It's my kind of go-to makeup. Jim eats every two to three hours round the clock. So I am really tired. Um, and so this is my kind of makeup that I've been doing, which is pretty quick. Um, I'm hoping that you can see properly. Um, so firstly, I've been using this, which is the Nude Sticks um, Magnetic Eye Colour in Angel, which I really love. So the sun is going to make the light change all the time. Uh, so sorry about that. It's Jim. Um, I really love this. It's a great on its own. It's great as a kind of primer for other colours. Um, it's amazingly blendable. It comes with a cool little sharpener in the box. So I'm completely in love with nude sticks and want all of the colours. Yeah. And I've been told their mascara is good as well. And then I've been using one of my favourite things, which is the Liz Earl um, individual eye colour. Um, and this is in bronze. And I've been using that on the like outer corner blended in. And I'm just blending the top corner so that you don't have a line. I've discovered that my favourite blending brush, which is the Daniel Silent blending brush, I seem to have left in the hospital. And now they're angle grinding. And Jim has been the noisiest he's been all morning. The world hates me. Right. Then I've been using one of the products that has been driving me bonkers for the past couple of months. I'm using NYX NYX, I don't know what you call it. It's called the Curve Liner. It's this weird shape. You pull the lid off. And it's this sort of thin felt tip liner, which is never going to focus. There we go. And I really like it. It's kind of weird, but it's totally easy to use. And the reason it's been driving me bonkers is their PR won't get back to me to tell me where you can get it. And I don't particularly want to review it until I can tell you where to get it. You can get it in the US. Right. And then I've been doing a kind of weird flick where I can't be bothered to do a proper flick. So I've just been going kind of straight out. Also known as the lazy person's flick. I get an angle brush. This is an eyeshadow. I'm just using Crete from the Urban Decay Naked palette, which has got a shimmer in it. Are you chatting, Jim? And just go over the line because it softens it, it smooths it, and if you've been really slapped at, as I always am, because I'm doing this before I can take Ned to nursery at nine. Um, it fills in any gaps and smooths over any wobbles and you can do this liner 
with an angry two-year-old hanging off your leg. Then I've been using my favourite mascara of choice. But it leaves us so much mess there. Move over. Um, at the moment, which is the Roller Lash by Benefit, which I'm refusing to buy the full size of because I think they priced their mascara. Well, I think they priced them off their makeup completely wrong, and it annoys me. This is not a twenty pound mascara. But it would be a very, very awesome 14 pound mascara. Okay, then on my face I'm wearing the most expensive mix of makeups you could possibly ever have. Many of you might know that I bought this, which is the Chantecai, um Skin Tint, Just Skin. Um, and I think it's terrible. It barely covers anything. And I don't think I've got that bad skin. But literally, the amount of concealer I needed with it... Um, it was unbelievable. So I didn't want to just waste it. So I bought the Dr. Hauschka Tinted Day Cream, which is 30 quid. So I must be using about 70 quid's worth of product. Um, so I do a blob of that, uh, skin tint, just skin, and a blob of the Dr. Hauschka. Then I mix them together, and together they do quite a nice job. And the Together, they have a really nice finish, and I think it. I think the Hauschka gives it a bit more coverage and warmth, and the skin tint has a very nice um, dewy finish. Um, okay, so now Jim is off screaming somewhere. And uh, I run out of space on my camera. And I told you the world hates me. So, um, yeah, so the Chantecai has a really nice dewy finish, but you have to basically have perfect skin, and then you're just getting something that gives you a nice dewy finish, is my personal opinion of it. Um, so, make of that what you will. Another NYX product which I've been wanting to review and has been driving me mad because where can you buy it? How much is it? Who's going to tell me? No one is going to tell me. But it's called Wonder Stick. I think it comes in four colours. Anyway, it's going to be in my favourite. So, you'll have seen that hopefully before you see this. Um, now it is for contouring and I guess I'm contouring but it's more like squiggling on your face to hide baby fat in my case and if that's what you want then the wonder stick is really good it's got a highlighter at the other end which I don't really use I've used it a couple of times it's perfectly nice um, then I use um, Super Skin Best Skin Foundation by Maybelline. Really good high street foundation. That concealer. Oh. See, and now it's gone really dark, so you can't really see anything. I mean. Okay, so then I've concealed uh, my entire face. Um, what I've been using on my cheeks. I've been trying a couple of things. Another NYX product. I don't love this. It's a um, sun kissed in O2. I mean, it's quite nice. And the reason, I mean, it's quite nice because it's good for everyday quick blotting it's not going to be expensive so i'm not using something expensive on my face every day just for looking after children and it has got a nice mix of colors so it's okay again it'll probably be really reasonably priced and i mean i have been using it every day so i obviously do quite like it 
Then my trusty Ico Fat Brush Mascara, which is what I use on my lower lashes because it's smudge proof. So it doesn't seem to move anywhere, which is good for me. And then I use my trusty Sleek Makeup Luminous Press Powder. And I use that all over, partly because I have a lot of concealer on, and partly because I have a baby here most of the time, and I kind of want to not get makeup all over him. So, that is it. That is like my everyday, oh my god, sleep deprivation is kicking my ass makeup. Um, all quite not very expensive except for the Shanzakai face, daily face, whatever it's called, what is it called, just skin, um, which I mean you pay something like ridiculous like £58 for this and then you look like you are just wearing your skin and if I wanted to wear my skin I wouldn't be spending £58 on a product. It has a nice dewy finish, slight bit of definition to my face. Um, the flicky eyeliner I feel like makes me look done and like I've actually made an effort but because it's so wibbly wobbly and then covered over sneakily with um, eyeshadow it's all like cheaty 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 makeup then on my, I forgot to do my lips on my lips I've been wearing either just my trusty Blistex um, lip balm or um, Bitch Perfect from Charlotte Tilbury. I hate the name, love the lipstick. And it's really natural and nice and that's not cheap but I love the lipstick and when it runs out I'll buy it again. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this is chaotic. I'm sorry the background is gross. And I'm sorry that for half of it there's been a snuffly baby and then there's been a screamy baby and drilling and I can't apologise enough. Um, but thank you for watching. <laughs>